Hello everybody, up with all good, big shout out to KR Couriers and Transport Limited and a big thank you to everyone who likes, shares, comments and subscribes to the All or Nothing podcast with myself, Billy Moore. Now some of you might recognise Lee Marvinitian. Now Lee is uh, he's old school, he's been on a few podcasts so he's not, yeah. it's not his first road though but no. what was him? Anyway, love you there by the way. Yeah, thank you very You're going to get the SpongeBob shout like there. my son's there now actually. <laughs> it's us, right it's us. Yeah. So, just done a little pop with Marv. Now that'll be coming soon, and it is explosive. It's just, it's it, we can relate a lot, amazing. can't we? Yeah, uh, so, amazing. tell me, right, like, like, about your jewelry, like, cause you've got oh, loads of. Yeah. Show this, show you some off there, look yeah, well, you know what? Uh, do you know what it is, lad? Because I was an addict all my life. I just want to prove that I'm not an addict anymore. Yeah. You know, to myself. So, like, I like to look nice and look smart as I can. Do you know what I mean, Billy? Mm. Like, um. So what I did is a. Uh, like my dad and my bear's dad and all that, everyone's give me little bits and it's all built up now. So I'll just that's do you, do you, keep do you, it all now. Do you think that's that's down to like the, the insecurities and your inadequacies and you know over the years that you you, you know you've had nothing. Yeah, well, right. before I've had jewelry and just sold it for it yeah. straight away. It's yeah. been smoked within 20 minutes, you know what I mean? A gold ring or something, it's meant nothing, you know what I mean? So no, I just want to give it some value, you know what I mean? And like, just show that I'm not an addict anymore. I'm yeah. not a user. I'm not gonna spend every penny, penny yeah. I've got on a drug. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, and it's like it gives people hope out there because I, yeah. I, I hope that I, you know, share some inspiration to some people and, and who were who were struggling because I know, yeah. uh, deep down, that when you're sitting at home, right, or you're on the Charlie and you're moving from room to room, looking out the the window, you know, paranoid, yeah, spending exactly. all your dough, lying, manipulating, yeah. thieving, you know, eh. Uh, but, and, you, and then you get a misinformed by by service providers yeah. and uh, people who, who say they've been there but, you know, swap one addiction to it for another. We spoke yeah. about all that we stuff. Have, yeah, we and have. What was one of your um, your most, like, maddest experiences in prison? Because you, you've done, you know, Marvin yeah. was born in prison, yeah. right? Uh, to addicted parents, you know, his mum was addicted, his dad was addicted. Yeah, both drug you know, addicts. Both yeah. drug addicts. That, that's, you know, he was adopted at an early age. Yeah. You know, so there's a lot of contributing factors as to yeah. why you behaved the way you did. But what yeah. was like one of your maddest experiences? You well, know, I was wild in jail, Billy, lad, because I, I felt like it was my home. I was born there, wasn't I? You know, yeah. where else am I going to feel more comfortable yeah. than at home, Billy? Do you know what I mean, lad? Yeah. So no school could tell me what to do. I did what I wanted, you know what I mean? And yeah. sometimes I'd get put down the block on good order and discipline, you know, yeah. for a few weeks and get shipped out and all that. But yeah, I did the maddest things, lad. I mean, once some scouts has come up to me, I landed in a the jail. They passed me a knife and went, go and do him in over there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And like... Uh, well, for bits. Yeah. So yeah. like I had to go and do a bit of a naughty one, but luckily I'm not stupid, so I didn't use the shiv, you know what I mean? Yeah. I actually got my finger and just started sticking it in his neck, you know, just to mark him and yeah. it made it look like I'd barely jibbed him. That's, you know what? You know what I mean? Just to scare him a bit, right? You know, but that's the things you do, isn't it, lad? Yeah, for the I, see, I remember I'd like, been in Walton, right, and I'm on eye wing, and there's this kid from Leamington Spa, right, and he's black kid, big yeah. kid he was, right? Yeah. But he spoke dead squeaky. No, yeah. I might know. They was just yeah, dead, yeah. dead. Um, he was annoying. Yeah. Right, and he'd annoy a few of these scouts who had a few things going on. I want to stand right there, fucking hell. Just missed it. He'd annoy. Um, he'd annoy a few of these lads, and she once said to me, "Look, Bill, if you slash him, right, I'll give you, I'll give you a gram." And I was desperate. I don't know. I was desperate. Lads, yeah. like, and I thought, okay, fuck, I'm gonna slash him. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I remember saying, "Yeah" to the kid. Yeah. Going to the gym the same time as they showed the kid from Leamington Spa and he's on the running machine yeah. like shit guy. I'm fucking bombing yeah, it, yeah. right? I'm standing there thinking, all my fucking anxieties yeah, yeah. going on, I've got all that fight or flight going on. I think I'll just spark him, yeah, right? Proper yeah, bang him, yeah, right? Yeah. You know, that'll be enough because there's yeah. no way. I didn't have it in me to, yeah, to, yeah, to, to, yeah. to, to maul someone like that. Yeah. Um, I didn't want to. And as he's running, I just went, fuck off. Yeah. Just cracked him on. And I went back and said to the kid, yeah, you're yeah, a fucking bladder, them lad. Yeah, yeah. And he went, no, what's it, just a good one. I went, yeah. you never said that. Yeah, yeah. Or I never heard it. Yeah. Right, but I've done that, mate. You better short it now. Yeah, still, yeah. So we ended up yeah. with an half, half yeah. a gram, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, it is. Imagine, like, I know some kid who's, who's, who's done that and ended up getting an IPP. I know a kid who got a murder charge for yeah. it as well, lad. Yeah, I know yeah. someone who did it and got a bled out and someone slashed his throat and he cut his throat open and bled out. Okay. Doing a hit. 
There was a kid years ago when I was, was when I first went into prison. There was a kid. Um, I'm not going to mention his name because I know his mm. brother. Uh, he won't just pad mate. Yeah, wow. Because they told you you'd get bail. Yeah, Never remember well, that one back yeah, in the day. I remember that story, if you pad yeah. mate, if you pad mate hangs right. Yeah. You know you get bail. And this kid's a scouser, and uh, he was in strange ways. Yeah. And the youngest pad mate. Yeah. Um, yeah, got nicked him. Lot, like, yeah, you know? he got he got nicked for murder because yeah. of, you know the come bangers like but that was happening a lot that I remember that happening a few times that yeah. man. Have you ever had it happen where someone's been bragging about how much money they've got in prison and they get robbed, Billy? Yeah, to see the to see the watch. I remember this fella coming on a wing and I kid you not, he started telling us that he's got eighty grand or something <laughs> in his <laughs> nana's fucking fireplace. Here you go. I, I swear he was telling everyone, and you know what? The lads went and grabbed his bird out on the visit outside. She was on the way in to visit. Just her right off. Had her, took her, <laughs> took the money, and then ended up getting nicked in the end and going to jail for it anyway. But yeah, that's through having a big bleeding mouth in jail with my drugs. You know, some, you know, some people love a little bit of drama on the, the social media. They love like stories, war stories, prison yeah. stories. You know, I will overcome an addiction. That this is like this platform is quite diverse. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll open the doors up for everyone. It just it says, you know, real people with real stories. Yeah. Not asked about your blue ticks or your That's celebrities. It. You know, we can all fucking um, you know, oh, it's fucking difficult living with like a fucking million pounds in a bank. Yeah. What I mean, and you're struggling. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't take away that doesn't matter how much money you've got. I think if you've got fucking tons of money and you're yeah. in addiction yeah it's fucking money's more irrelevant if you're yeah. an addict like, it yeah. doesn't matter money just it makes it harder if you've got money i yeah. think makes it harder to manage your addiction if you've got money because you can buy it anytime you want yeah i mean i've been around people like that you've got money coming out their ears and you can't stop it's like, miserable impossible. as fuck yeah, well. it's not yeah. it's even harder lad. so yeah you know what i mean so yeah we're just out here telling everyone that there is a way out though you can change if you want to you know what i mean and you've got the keys yourself to do it i mean Everyone keeps saying they need a bit of support and they need, but you tell yourself for a change yeah. that you've got the, the means to do it. Yeah, you. the, the, the change begins with, with yourselves. And, with yourself. Yeah. Yeah, well, especially with me. And, you know, I don't, I'm, I'm only speaking on, on my own, you know, for myself as, um, as someone who's experienced the hardships, you know, and had to go through all them, them desperate times yeah. to come to a point where I had to change. I don't want to live that way of life and people no. say to me I'm on the met and I'm on the diazes yeah. and I, um, I can't get off this and I can't get off mm. that I'm on the, uh, the ale all day long mm. right and it's horrible because I mm. feel for I feel for those people who write on, I, I see them comments and, and yeah. I see it and think I wow too. if I had if I had a bottle yeah and, and I could bottle this recovery stuff up yeah, or I could sell it I, could sell, I wouldn't sell I'd give you the you'd give it anyway. fuck it man yeah, I wouldn't sell why would I sell right, something yeah. that you know to save someone's life why not you can have it very true. Yeah. Freely given to me, right? Yeah. And and I believe that you know you can only keep what you've got yeah. by giving it away. And I mean, in that sense, not like giving up your personal things, yeah, yeah. just giving up yourself yeah, or well, being there for someone. Now. That's what, what my life's work is now. Is yeah. trying to educate people on the like the, but, not only the danger of drugs, but the danger of letting yourself go and falling into that yeah. trap. Do you know what I mean? Because if you fall through them gaps now, yeah. mate. Where you end up is a very, 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 very difficult place. Yeah, well, you know, we, we, I just listened to where, where he's ended up, like gangs, Pepper Hill, Gooch, all that stuff back in Moss Side, back in the day. Yeah. You know, you come from Ancoat, so you were, out yeah. of, you were out of your depth, especially, yeah, when, you were, depth, especially yeah. when you were in, in, in prison. And, yeah. like, you know, you probably felt different. So you've been yeah. mauled by a dog, stabbed, a, a, you know, shot. Yeah, everything about that. And that was all before fucking breakfast. all before breakfast. <laughs> before breakfast <that's laughs> right, I was just yeah. going to drop him off uh, in Lamy and I... Marv. Is it Marv or Lee Marv? Marv. 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 Well, there's, there's like, it's like a double barrel name, isn't it? It is, yeah, but I was never called Lee. My, my adoptive mum called me Lee. After, you? Yeah. So you were just telling me then, on the way yeah. down, one of your most memorable episodes in a uh, prison and like yeah reggie well, cray tell us about that i was away with reggie cray yeah it was yeah. old reggie cray was walking around on a semi we was in a wayland norfolk i'd just gone on a drug rehab wing uh but i didn't last i was still it's like i was getting weed and all that yeah. so got through off the wing piss test yeah give a positive piss test got through off the wing bounced that banged on a wing um old reggie cray was walking <laughs> around yeah <laughs> What was he like, Me and a mank called Colin O'Grady and this other... It was only me, me and a, another mank. 
and a Salford kid and uh, Reggie Cray was really nice to talk to, you know. Yeah. Dead small was Billy. He, was he the one who was he the gay one? He, he was the no, he was the he was the straight man, but he, he still was gay though. Yeah. I think he was anyway. Yeah. So they said anyway, I'm not sure. Yeah, Jail yeah. gay, any prison vision. Yeah, we heard a story. Yeah. I heard that he was still like at it, but you know, I don't really want to get into that because I, I, I like to keep his memory nice, you know what I mean? He wasn't yeah. really uh, they, a, they, they, they didn't not that it was a bad thing to be like that. Know, they, that that's that's a, probably like an IPP they got. Thing. You know, in this day and age, isn't it? Yeah. You know, when they got laid off. Yeah, but they, they got laid off. Well, it was they did one. like 34 years of peace then. That was heavy that thing. Like. Yeah. yeah, you must have hit him as well. Like, yeah. yeah he, you know what? He used to walk around the, the wing, um, the, the, what do you call it outside? The, 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 yeah, the grounds. Yeah. yeah. So the grounds, you could go off your billet and walk around the grounds, you know, behind the billets and all that, like, yeah. yeah. So you used to see Reggie walking around on his own, you know what I mean? And we'd go up to him and say, how are you doing, Reggie? You know what I mean? And he'd, all right, yeah, and he had a little big, massive chain on. Did you ever come across the other fella? Dead small he was. Who, which one? Bronson. No, I never met Bronson, yeah. you know, no. But the most any... famous fella that I ever met was uh, Reggie Cray, yeah. yeah. Fucking yeah. mother. But you know what, lad? It's been it's been a pleasure. Yeah, we're at Lime Street Station, just drop him mad off here. Yeah. It's been a pleasure having you on. So... We're going to be putting this on next week, um, yeah. but I'll upload this. Yeah. Just um, as one of those little videos that I do little in the car. <laughs> A little short. Yeah. So, anyway, thanks for watching and take care, man. Take it Thank easy, you. bro. Cheers, lad. Thank you very much, lad. Brilliant. I'm going to drop him off uh, in Limey, and I appreciate you coming on. Uh, yeah. But we'll have a little chat before on the, on the way back down here, so yeah. stay tuned. Yeah.